How's it going, my fellow collectors? This is Link's Reviews, and I'm Link, and today we have some new South Park Funko Pops. If you've uh, been on my channel before, I've done some South Park Funko Pops before, and now we have some new ones. So, let's get right to it, shall we? So as I said, we've got some new South Park Funko Pops. We got some South Park Boy Band Funko Pops. Now this is from the episode where they started Boy Band. I won't say what the name of their song is because I'm afraid my channel might, you know, this video might be taken down or um, whatever might happen. Not saying the name of their song. Let's just say it's, they don't realize it's inappropriate, but it is inappropriate. Well, Kenny realizes it's inappropriate, but the rest of them just go along with it. All right, so. Let's get on to the first pop, which is number number 37, and it is the Big Boned Cartman. And he's just so fun. I mean, he's extremely inappropriate, but he's just so funny at the same time. It's a show, if you've never seen South Park, or if you're too young to see South Park, it's basically a show where basically you can just watch it and not have to think about anything because it's that dumb of a show. It's just pure entertainment. You don't have to think. Although, if you do think, you actually might discover some, like, hidden messages in the show. So... Let's check this one out, shall we? So it is Boy Band Cartman, and it is absolutely amazing. All, but if you actually do see the name of their band on their shirt, but um, you could probably see uh, uh, part of the name on there. But let's get this one open and check it out. I love how also they basically modeled themselves off of like Battery Boys and an Instinct. They all gave each other like goatees. It's so funny. Well, at least he did. Looks absolutely amazing. You don't need a base. What the heck? I have just been getting some weird pops lately. This is the second one I've ever gotten where there's something wrong with it. I mean, look at this. He's missing his arm. First, I got Thor missing... Uh, uh, the Ravager Thor missing a piece of his... Um, hammer. Now I'm getting literally a Cartman with a missing arm. What is up with that? That is so weird. I mean, you can even see this slot where they would slot it in and glue it in, but that is crazy. Oh, you can also see the, the logo of their band on the back, but that is crazy that this is the second one I've gotten. Well, not in a row, obviously, where they're missing a piece of it. Well, besides the arm, here is boy band Cartman. That is just crazy. He still looks absolutely amazing, though. I love how he's got goggles and a headset on. and uh, They all have beanies. But that's so weird that he's missing an arm. Funko, what is going on? Also, Big Bad Toy Store, you're giving me one that has a... Uh, uh, you're giving me ones that are messed up. I'm going to have to email them. So cool, though. Still, if he had his arm, it'd be absolutely amazing. Super cool though. I love how the headset is in front of him. And it is slightly flexible, so be careful of that. I don't know how brittle it is, but still absolutely amazing pop. If it was actually in its hole, I'd give this a 10 out of 10. But since it's not, I'm going to have to give it like a 1 because it's a messed up pop. All right, on to the next one, shall we? We've got number 38, Boy Band Kenny. Kenny, my favorite character on the show. Can't understand what he's saying, but all his friends can. And the immortal cannot stay dead. Kenny is just so funny. And I love the backstory that they gave him with how, um, when he's mysterious on how they discover that he can't die. Let's just say his parents went to way too many cult meetings just for the free booze. Still so funny. All right, let's get this open, shall we? Hopefully he has both of his arms. It looks like he does. He's got the visor, but it's orange like his jacket, but the rest of them is white. And I also love how they keep some of the colors. Like, Carmen has the red goggles because he always wears, like, a red jacket. Kenny's got the orange visor because he always wears an orange jacket. And that's just a really cool detail. FB. I'm not, I'm not going to say the name. But still, so cool. 
Let's get a close up, shall we? Again, heads up, be careful around that. Don't know how flimsy that is. He also looks like he's just wearing like a dress jacket that's just so big that it goes down. That's so funny. You only see a little bit of his face because he always wears his. I, I mean, he's gotta be. Like, he wears this even in the summer in the Rocky Mountains. It's not always snowy where he lives. Still, absolutely really cool. 10 out of 10 on this one. All right, on to the next one, which is number 39, and it is boy band Kyle. Kyle Brothowski. Let's just say him and Kyle, uh, him and uh, Cartman hate each other. And he's got his green shirt because he always wears a green, oh, no, it's a green hat. Yes, green hat, not green jacket. Wait, is he wearing a green jacket? I, I feel like I remember him wearing a green hat for some reason. Let's get this out of the box, shall we? They all got their original colors on them somewhere. Alright, so here we have Kyle Broflowski in his boy band form with his headset on and his classic hat, which is just so funny. They're the Rocky Mountain boy band. Just check him out. He looks absolutely amazing. Again, simple jacket. I love also like the extra buckles that they put on his jacket. That's so funny. And he's just smiling. He's just happy to be part of a something. So cool though. Another 10 out of 10 in my opinion. All right, now on for the final pop of this line. We've got number 40, and it is boy band Stan, who, funnily enough, um, his dad was in a boy band a long time ago, and that's hilarious. He's got his blue jacket on because he wears a blue beanie. Let's get this one out of the box, shall we, and check it out. And he's got his other arm, too. You know what uh, this uh, uh, lesson is giving me, though? As soon as I get the pops, check them. I may not have to open them, but check them. Because literally, that's the second time now. I'm not mad about it. I'm just slightly disappointed in myself more, uh, more than anything. But, wow, this one's really light compared to all of them. Interesting. All right, so here we have Boy Band Stan. With his blue shirt, because he usually has a blue beanie. And he looks absolutely fantastic. I do not have this centered. Super cool. Again, standard style. Dress, uh, uh, basically like an 80s dress shirt that has, or dress jacket that has the sleeves rolled up. But still, really, really, or is that 90s? I don't remember. It's before my time. Still really, really cool though. Although, he does have some, oh, nope, got that right off. Sometimes when I get these pops, they have like white flecks or black flecks or randomly in places. And you can generally, usually you can just like rub them right off. Which is really nice. Alright, cool pop, 10 out of 10. Alright guys, so that's it for this line. If you guys like these Funko Pops, please let me know in the comments. If you've ever gotten a pop that is missing a piece on it, let me know that I am not the only one. It'd be much appreciated. If you want me to review a specific item, um, anything between Funko Pops, NECA, um, Sideshow Collectibles, uh, I definitely uh, will have to very think about them because those are expensive. But any Funko Pops or like uh, NECA figures or even Ban Presto figures, which are like my um, uh, anime figures up here, let me know in the comments down below. You can also check me out on Twitter where I post sneak peeks one to two days beforehand. Um, you can also check me out on my newest channel if you're interested in uh, 3D printing. I started up a 3D printing channel where I 3D print uh, props for my cosplays that I'm doing for my conventions that I go to, which I'm going to one in at the end of May, uh, which uh, brings it to the next point on uh, Tuesday. Uh, usually uh, this week, or the, I do two videos one week, one video the next week. Well, next week I'm doing two videos. Uh, just a, a quick update on a cosplay that I'm doing, which is the Red Hood cosplay. Um, so stay tuned for that if you're interested in cosplay. If you like 3D printing, check out the uh, link in the description below for a link to the channel. And yeah, that's it for this video, guys. As always, my fellow collectors, have a nice day and peace out.